Hey everyone, welcome back to Step Into Your Dream. This is part two of our Heart Sounds and Auscultation series. If you haven't watched part one yet, pause this video and check that out. We covered heart valves, key terminology, and how blood flows through the heart. Now it's time for the real deal. Where to place my stethoscope and how can I recognize normal versus abnormal heart sounds? So grab your stethoscope and let's get started. Where to place your stethoscope for each heart valve? To hear each heart valve, we use the APETM pattern, which is, stands for this phrase, all people enjoy Time Magazine. These are five main auscultation points. Number one, aortic area, which is second right intercostal space, right sternal border. This is the best place to hear the aortic valve. Normal heart sounds should be S2 or dub, which is louder than S1. Abnormal sounds here is going to be aortic stenosis, which can cause a harsh systolic murmur. Number two is going to be pulmonic area, is second left intercostal space, left sternal border. This is the best spot to hear the pulmonic valve. Normal sound is S2 or dub, which is the loudest here. An abnormal sound is going to be pulmonic stenosis or a split S2 sound, which can be normal or abnormal. The third point is herbs point. Third left intercostal space, left sternal border. This is a general listening point for heart sounds. Best place to hear S1 and S2. An abnormal sound is going to be Early diastolic murmurs may be heard also here. The fourth spot is tricuspid area. So the tricuspid area usually is located on the fourth left intercostal space, left sternal border. This is the place to hear the tricuspid valve. The normal sounds here is S1 or lob, which is the loudest in this spot. Abnormal sounds are tricuspid regurgitation, which stands for blood flowing backward and also murmur. The fifth spot is mitral area or apex, is fifth left intercostal space or midclavicular line, is the best place to hear the mitral valve. The normal sound is S1 or lob, which is the loudest here. An abnormal sound that you may have is a mitral regurgitation murmur, which is blood leaking backward, or a mitral stenosis murmur, which is stand for narrowing of it. So now that you know where to place your stethoscope and what to listen for, you are one step closer to mastering heart sounds. If this was helpful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you in the next video. Until then, keep learning and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching.